there'll always be a void, there'll always be an unsurety, an insecurity within you that's trying to alert you and alarm you to the fact that you're going to be with somebody that's not going to commit. Now what I mean by commit is the narcissist, if that's how you want to call it, that's someone that uses you for services, supply and safety or someone that will love bomb you begin to devalue you over the course of a period of time and then discard you or cause you to discard them which is called a reverse discard the narcissist will appear to be okay on the surface and do all the right things at the start to establish a baseline on which your perception of them will hold they build a baseline of how you perceive them in the positive. Once this baseline is established, and if you're aware and you're not blinded by love, at the start of things, which normally we do, we want to run around and like a bird building a nest and try and get that connection in order and in place and make sure that this thing's going to work which really isn't a guarantee of anything because what's happening in somebody else's mind um, most definitely usually isn't okay, mate, happening in your mind so this blindsides you from the start the baseline setting of the person that you're with and you're not the first rodeo in this pig event um, once the baseline set then you'll watch this person or this could be yourself become comfortable and as the comfortableness creeps in and that's what it does it micro incrementally macadabellian like creeps in you'll begin to notice that this ain't in parallel or correspondence with the baseline perception that I had of this person. And what we can tend to do is start to question ourselves. So a reaction to that questioning of ourselves will be, I'll need to put in a little bit more effort. But now your commitment to the relationship is being fueled from doubt, fear and insecurity which always begin a breakdown with inside ourselves because they're not healthy attributes. Now people can go on like this in relationships for 1, 5, 10, 20, 30, 35 years, a lifetime and not realise <clears throat> that they were with somebody that was unable to fully show them the respect and reciprocation that they need from that person. That's how narcissism works because the person that you're with for one reason or another, dead or alive, have not separated and individuated properly from their parent, usually from the mother. And I've seen this, it's catastrophic how it works because the mother, as hard as she might try and should she have to try, cannot break the influence and really she should not have to if she got it right the influence of her maternal bond with the adult children and the adult children with them they were never navigated in a way in which the individuation and separation the dependency on each other mother to child, child to mother um, 
took place. There was no individuation or separation. So there was always this intimate emotional connection that these people found security, identity, and answers to their failures in. It's very negligent and abusive. Because when these people, and there is a train coming, when these people meet people outside of the maternal relationship, and I'm talking about adult, parent, child now, um, they are unable to completely attach or commit or play a proper role in a relationship in a full healthy way because of the dependency and attachment within what's known as the covert emotional incest and this is where all narcissism begins if you meet the parent in a covert emotional incestual relationship with one of her adult children or more can be more you will never, ever, ever get the full satisfaction that you, by nature and the way in which we are made, need for that relationship to flourish and be uh, sedimented, as it were. The set, there's always a stir up. The sediment's always stirred up. Uh, there's never. A regulated um, situation between you and this person and these are all alarm bells but our faithfulness and loyalty probably our determination and attraction to the person keeps us pushing on and these carrot danglers I'm sure you've heard that saying carrot dangler do just enough if not a little bit more or less, depending on where they're at and what they're being caught for and what you're allowing them to get away with or not to get away with. These carrot danglers will lead you on and they will lead you on for years and years and years. They won't fix the underlying problems because they're split. They're psychologically split. They value their narcissistic covert emotional incest relationship with their child or children or with the parent. You'll see a lot of young men with their mothers can't sustain a relationship with a woman because the sinful nature and the way in which it's formulated the narcissism within that man will sabotage the relationship and it works the same for the parent and they push people away because they leave them unsatisfied and it's all a big waste of time and you shouldn't have any conscience if this has happened to you so as you become aware that the person that you're with is not quite right I would challenge you to check their relationship with their parent or the parent with the child. And I'm sure you'll find an ungodly, intimate connection between these two or more, which is undermining their capability of giving you a full-hearted, enriched, psychologically enriched relationship and as you become aware of this and you begin to come out of the blindness of your loyalty and devotion and faithfulness which happens to a lot of cult people that wake up it takes years to reprogram it, them into understanding that they were deceived you need to allow things to sediment come to your senses watch the situation very carefully and conclude that this person is never going to be able to provide for you the things that you need that are going to sustain 
a healthy and happy regulated relationship. And once you are aware that this ain't going the way that it should and hopefully there's no children involved or being brought into the world, you can, with all the wisdom in the world and diplomatic skills that you can muster, step back from the relationship, detach from that person, tell them the situation, they're probably not gonna listen. Break up, go your way, let them go their way, leave them alone, and never ever ever go back.